Hi guys, welcome back. I am Ayan Acharya uh, and I'm here to review the first game of a double header Saturday. Uh, the first match was played between uh, Bangladesh and Afghanistan at the HPCA Stadium in Dharamshala, uh, where Bangladesh beat Afghanistan by six wickets to get on the points table. So without further ado, let's dive right into the talking points. The first talking point was, of course, all around Mehdi Hassan Miraj. A lot of people, a lot of reporters, a lot of people who follow Bangladesh cricket closely are already touting uh, Mehdi as uh, the successor to uh, Shakib as a great all-rounder and you could see the signs of that today just why is he being rated so highly uh, not only did he pick up three wickets with the ball but he also contributed with a handsome 50 yes he did get two reprieves but well to his credit he made the most of it um, and well uh, then you had the evergreen hero of Bangladesh cricket Shakib Al Hassan who once again chipped in with three very crucial wickets uh, mind you uh, you must be wondering the game was played in Dharamshala how come two spinners took six wickets between uh, them so here's the deal uh, of course the conditions are supposed to be amiable for paces uh, the wicket had a lot of grass so you expected the quicks to have uh, a bigger say but uh, in once the match began it became evident that this wicket was slightly on the slower side the ball was also turning and uh, well the Bangladesh paces didn't exactly start on an accurate note uh, of course the first after the first 10-15 overs they did get their lines and lengths right uh, especially uh, Shariful Islam uh, mind you Mustafizur Rahman was bang on target he was targeting uh, Ramallah Gurbaz with a short ball uh, very well but I think Shariful was a bit off the radar but they all got their act together later on however the wicket uh, was uh, a bit spin friendly today which is very unlike dharamshala whether it's going to be the same when england take on bangladesh in a few days from now remains to be seen uh, but yeah that was about uh, the, the bangladesh team and uh, well the pitch now let's talk about ramon gurbaz now he was the only uh, bright spot for Afghanistan today uh, with the bat uh, because he made 47 at one point uh, the frustration uh, well within him was very evident as wickets kept tumbling at the other end uh, none of the Bangladesh uh, beg your pardon none of the Afghanistan batters showed the stomach to just hang around with him and you know let him take the score to a more respectable uh, number uh, uh, Gurbaz started off playing some handsome shots uh, but uh, once he saw that you know the batters at the other end were struggling uh, he also got a bit itchy and in trying to break free he eventually threw his wicket away as well having said that uh, for a very long time Afghanistan cricket has found its heroes in its spin bowlers uh, before the start of this tournament Hashbidullah Shahiri had said that uh, he wants his batters to make a big statement and he expects them to do so well it didn't start off on a bright note for his uh, entire team but Ramon Lagubaz was a big big bright spot for them and I do see him uh, going on to make a bigger statement and do you know greater things for Afghanistan cricket in the days to come and watch out for him in this tournament he's going to you know have that match winning impact in at least two to three games if not uh, more going forward uh, and before we wrap up a uh, quick comment on uh, the outfield incident in Dharamshala today uh, those of you who watched the game live uh, must have seen that uh, quite a few fielders from both camps uh, slipped, got their you know knees stuck in the sand-based outfield. Uh, Mujib, of course, was lucky to escape uh, an injury, a serious injury at that. Um, you know, both uh, members members of both camps were asked about it in the post-match presser. Jonathan Trott, Afghanistan, uh, the Afghanistan head coach, uh, made it very clear that he's not blaming the outfield for his team's defeat, but did say that ICC should consider monitoring all the outfields uh, in the country, uh, especially during a high-profile event like the World Cup. Uh, Mehdi Hassan Miraz, of course, said that uh, you know blaming the outfield. Uh, would be finding an excuse and that his team is not looking to do that uh, but he did find, find the outfield a bit heavy so uh, it's it's a concern uh, it's a concern because England will play Bangladesh and England uh, is carrying quite a few niggles and you know they've had they've, they've had their players you know suffer some freak injuries of late so it'll be uh, 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 you know curious to see how the outfield holds up for that all-important game when the two teams uh, meet on October 10. I'll be keeping a close eye on it. Uh, for everything else, keep following Sports Star. Thank you so much.